Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Making an Impact with Zebu Nation and today we have for you game 14 of the 2019 Major League Soccer regular season and it's another really important game we're going up against Chicago Fire who if we look at the standings have rocketed up the charts they are now in second place in the Eastern Conference with 21 points. Columbus Crew has also caught up on several games. They now have 25 points after 12 games. So we're starting to lose touch with the top of the league. We need some wins. We need some comebacks here. We're sitting down here after 13 games. Five wins, seven losses, a total of 16 points. So we got to make some moves and we got to make them quick. So if we beat Chicago today, that gives us 19 points and they're at 21. So we're still within striking distance. But if we lose today, then man, we're going to have a lot of work to do in the second half of the season. So let's get right to it. I hope the last video we caught everything, but if not, then we'll come back and and recap some of the things we missed but hopefully we don't have to do that right now because i'm still recording and i'm still in the flow so let's keep going all right so we're going back with the four one two three hand that over to the assistant coach and let's go we got another just awfully packed schedule we just played toronto three days ago got a, or maybe even two days ago Got to play Chicago, and then Orlando, and then right after that, you can see Atlanta United. And it's not good because our roster is a little thin at the moment. We got injuries. We got people out on international duty. We got people out on loan who maybe shouldn't be on loan. But, you know, such is the price to pay when you're looking towards the future. So here we go. This is our reserve lineup. It's a little weird right now. Got Dupuy, Mancosu, Pace has made his way into the reserves. Watts, Giglio, Duverne, and Crippo. So not that bad. We got a lot of people who are tired and injured. Andre injured. Petrasso injured. Um, Kyle Laren is also a little bit injured. So we're not going to play him today. And several other people are tired, which is why we're going with this kind of weird lineup. Lutweiler in goal, so that's good. Tran and Salmon at fullbacks. Taylor is back from injury. Cabrera is in there. We got our draftee, Nasco. Yaya Toure. Hasler is making a rare appearance in the midfield. Vargas Romero on the wings and Jackson Amell up top as the target man. They're going with the same formation Chicago is. We haven't seen much of them this season. Antonella in goal. There's Fatal Alash. That's a guy we're familiar with from LAFC. He's pretty good. Dax McCarty. Schweinsteiger is in there. So they're still holding on with some of their older players. Nikolic on the left wing. Solignac on the right. Appears to be their top, top rated man. Yep, highest rated and most assists. 7.24. Seven assists in 11, 11 games. That's pretty good. And then... Movsisian? Um, Yura. Movsisian is their top goal scorer. Seven goals in 11 games. Where did this guy come from? History. Last year, they got him in a trade. Okay, from Real Salt Lake. Played very well for them, much better for Chicago than he played for RSL. So, good news for everybody involved there. Bad news possibly for us. Pep talk. Um, um, come on, guys. Show me what you can do. Nobody ever cares about that. All right, opposition instructions. See what our assistant coach has to say. Close down on Nikolic. Uh, are any of their fullbacks coming forward? Doesn't look like it. They got a few injuries as well. Kapelhoff and Yura are both injured. Let's see if they can struggle through the game. Tedare didn't feature in your team today. What's the thinking behind that? Uh, I think I'll send the assistant coach. 
It is a home game. Again, we got empty seats. Anytime it's not Toronto, we got empty seats in the crowd. I don't know what it is. Everybody hates playing against the Eastern Conference, I guess. See, so yeah, we got a bit of a wacky lineup. I mean, we've got several starters in there because we play so many players. Um, that was not a great play. Bounced it off of Romero Toure. Forward to Hasler. Tries to get it out wide to Romero. Doesn't work that way. Great tackle by Nasco. He's all over the place. And that is what Nasco does. He is a tackling machine. That's why we drafted him. 14 tackling. He's going to run around. He's very he's a big, strong kid. He's going to run around and smash people. And hopefully he doesn't get too many yellow cards. Chicago, by the way. Two injuries and two yellow cards to start the match off. Oh, oh, oh. Let's uh, let's go to extended highlights. Take a look at these in depth and make sure we aren't missing too much. Here's Schweinsteiger, Solignac. Shot is wide. Okay, that's fine. No problems there. I don't think we've played Chicago yet this season. Not that I can recall, anyway. Not exactly sure how good they are, but I mean, if they've managed to win. Win six and only lose three, so they're pretty good compared to us. Romero gets a talking to. Solignac takes another shot. Um, really struggled to keep possession. Should we try to keep possession against Chicago? I don't know. Nikolic with a turnover at midfield. Jackson drops it to Romero. He's going to look to get wide. He busts around the corner. Can he get past his man? Yes, he centers it. Jackson Amell gets a header on it. But Antonella is there for the stop. So that was a good play. A little two-man give and go. So maybe their defense isn't that good. You know, if we're able to get around... Uh, who was that? That was Somi. We were able to get around him on the left... Yeah, he's he's not that good. 27-year-old Syrian. Then up the middle, Kapilov. Yeah, he's pretty good, but he's injured. Brilliant. 33-year-old Frenchman. He's got to be losing a step down to nine pace. Everything else is still pretty good. Okay, here we go. Schweinsteiger sends one in. Nikolic. Nope, Taylor heads it out. Jackson's going to chase it down. Got Romero busting forward again. Romero down that right-hand side. See if he can get a cross in. Back post. Nobody there, but Nasco grabs it. Gets it out wide to Vargas. Vargas centers to Hassler. Hassler to Romero. Romero takes a shot. Wins a corner out of it. We've got Hassler coming forward. Central midfield attack. Let's just sort of give us... Another attacker up front. There's Vargas. Gets it to Nasco. Don't really want him there. Rather him get back on defense. Vargas getting out wide. Gets it to Tran, who's in the overlap. Sends it back post-ish. Yeah. It's just a, a moon shot over the goal. Not exactly uh, what you want. Chicago doesn't look too good in their ratings. Uh, our ratings aren't really much better. If not a little worse, even defensively. Taylor and Cabrera not looking too hot. Schweinsteiger with a corner. Toure heads it out. Chicago gathers it in. Solignac scoops it in. Ah, what a header by Movsizian. Against the grain, the goalkeeper was heading to his right. And he headed it back to the left. Not so good. Toure with a nice defensive play, but nobody out there to gather it in. And then just a lob shot. Beats the defense one on three. And this is no good. We're down a goal. In our more defensive formation right before half, too. I hate that. I hate giving up a goal right before half. All right. Dressing room, pep talk. 
Expect to see much better showing. Good job. Hassler's been error prone. They want us to keep possession. The assistant coach wants us to keep possession. So we'll give it a shot. Say retain possession, work the ball in the box. See what that gets us. I don't know that that's really what we should do with this formation, but if we reach the 60-minute point and nothing's happening, then I'll probably take Hassler out and switch to the 4-2-4. See if we can generate some offense. Cabrera playing it slow. Huh. Clock is going pretty slow. Ticking, ticking, ticking. Let's see if there's a highlight coming up. Nope. Now the clock's running. Hey, I was just thinking about something, I guess. Huh, huh, huh. Taylor not looking too good. Hassler still not looking good. Clock is going weird. It sort of stops and starts. Another yellow card for Chicago. Okay, here's Vargas. Free kick. Centers it. Jackson. Oh, he should have taken that shot. Romero, he's going to take it. Win us a corner, I guess. But man, Jackson was wide open. He just wasn't ready to shoot. Vargas on the other side now. Sends one back. Drops it to Romero. Romero centers to Hassler. His shot is deflected so we're going to get another corner okay switched switched angles here's Vargas drops one back to Romero again Romero takes it out wide this time back to Vargas um, yeah, I guess that was a cross anyway goes straight to the goalkeeper All right now the clock's rolling 50 minutes and counting Uh, defense is looking terrible. Midfield's looking average. All right, here we go. Free kick or corner kick. Tran. It's deflected out, but Vargas chases it down. Romero has it to Nesco. Jackson back to Nesco for the shot. It's not really his forte. He's a defensive player. We don't really need him uh, doing that. But he's got our best rating on the team right now. 6.7, Romero injured, okay. That's no good, that's no good. Ah, that throws a monkey wrench into my plans, because I had want, I'd wanted to bring Mancosu in at striker. Um, I guess I still could... Okay, let's go 4-2-4. Four, four. Toure there. Oh, no. no. Toure there. Nasco down here. Um, so we're going to have to move Toure to advanced playmaker, I suppose. So now we can move Jackson Amell to the right-hand side at the winger position. We're going to bring two guys off the bench. going to bring Mancosu in and Dupuis. We're going to bring all the firepower we possibly can off the bench. Inside forward support. Uh, Tran fullback attack. So we're going to go forward. We're going to go for it. Taylor does not need to be a ball-playing defender. I'm sorry to say. All right. There we go. Got everything mixed around. Let's go. 62 minutes. Here's a throw in. Toure. Centering pass to Nesco. Nesco. Hmm. Let's go, Nesco. Not a good shot. Again, not his not his forte. 
Let's see, what's his long shooting? Eight. Yeah, definitely don't want him shooting. His job is to tackle and pass the ball. That's it. I should probably make him an anchor man or something. But we need him to play the segundo at the moment. All right, Tran, throw in. Dupuy, Toure, take, he can take the shot. Oh, my God, that was worse. That was a thousand times worse than Nasco's shot. I don't know what's up with that. He shanked it. All right, Kapelhoff is still riding with that injury. 70 minutes. 71 and counting. Let's work the ball in the box. Let's put a little bit more pressure on him. Seventy-three, seventy-four. Clock is just rolling. It's not what we want. Absolutely not what we want. Pause. Is there any analysis we can get? Struggled to keep possession. I guess we'll try to maintain possession. See if that does anything for us. Um, no. Okay, here we go. Highlight. Solomon. Solomon Salmon. Jackson heads it on. Mancosu back to Jackson. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. He just sort of looped that one over the goalkeeper under the post that was crazy Mancosu gets the assist for that so Sam and Toure Jackson nods it into Mancosu then back to Jackson and he just perfect shot doesn't get any better than that there we go good man all right 83 and counting should we dial it back and just go for the draw? Eh, that's not really our style, is it? No. Cabrera. Oh, boy. Here's Schweinsteiger. Uh, off of Toure's face. He's none the wet worse for wear, apparently. Schweinsteiger gathers it in. A lash. Bombs it forward, and that's the end of the highlight. Toure is pretty tired. Um, so we could bring in Pace Toure. Sure. He's sort of our only option at this point. Here we go. Okay, Chicago on the move. Schweinsteiger sends it forward. Nikolic on the run. Eek, that was terrible. Terrible. 88 minutes. See if anybody's going to get a late goal and break the heart of the other team. Hopefully it's us. Five minutes of added time. It's a lot of added time. I don't think there were any injuries. Oh, yeah, we had an injury. That's right, Romero. All right, here we go. Vargas sends one in. Headed out. By Brilliant. Nasco. Oh, great pass to Cabrera. Awful attempt. Got a shot or whatever that was. So, there's 30 seconds left. Tran boots it out. Thank goodness Schweinsteiger has it. Sends it in. He was offside. He was offside. 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 There's the whistle. There's the whistle. Thank you. Because he, like, moved... He was moving when that pass went. Like, you know, he was coming back from being offside. So he, he was still offside when the pass was made, is what I was trying to say. And there we go. We salvaged the draw with the help of the linesman. Thank you. Thank you. All right. 1-1. Not a great game. But when you look at the team we had to throw out there, I guess uh, it's the best that we could hope for. Taylor played poorly. Romero played poorly before he got injured. So that's another winger injured. We're going to be playing our 17-year-olds here in no time. It's going to uh, um, unlucky boys, I guess. It's going to make me wish I had not.
sent people out on loan, but oh well. All right. Yeah. You talking about me hurting people? Come on. You're the one who hurt my guy out three to four weeks. Another guy out three to four weeks. Leave to the physio. I guess our doctor's busy doing something else. No injury list. Jackson Amell. I guess we'll praise him. Um, superb in front of goal. Okay. Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. Post-match press conference. Send the assistant. All right. So that draw moves up, up into fifth place. That's good, I guess. Still have more games played than anybody else in the league, so we still got a lot of work to do. 11th in the supporter shield. That's pretty much where we want to go. We want to, we're supposed to finish top half, and we're supposed to reach the wild card. So all we have to do is stay where we're at, and we're good. No problem. Reach the final in the Canadian Championship. We did that. I'm going to play Ottawa. That's so crazy. Not even another MLS squad. They've got a pretty big team. They've got a few of our players on there. Chonier, Johnson, and Meunier. Pretty sure they can all play against us. Can play against own team. So it'll be interesting to see if we get beat by our own players. But up next, what do we got? Orlando, Atlanta, Philadelphia, NYC. So the East Eastern Conference swing continues in full. Orlando's at the bottom of the league. We should be able to beat them. So I guess we'll come back for the Atlanta United game. Where are they at? And the, I haven't really mentioned them much this season. They're not much better than Orlando. Although they're only two points back from us, so... Orlando really is the team that's dragging this season. Only 10 points on the season. Although Toronto's not much better than them with only 12 points on the season. So those seem to be the two worst teams in the league right now. Well, I guess LAFC, not much better. Which is to say not any better. They're actually worse. Anyway, I guess I think I've recorded too many games in a row. That might be my problem. So we're going to take a... Another break? Yeah, take another break and come back for the Atlanta United game. So, until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.